Good morning, everybody. Welcome to an early morning edition of Under Construction, the Harry Potter edition. As we continue the build on Hogsworth, Hogswart, sorry, jeez. I'm not sure I have too many thoughts in my head. Hogswart Academy. I've done quite a bit of work here and there over the last few days, just, you know, bobbling around for a couple hours here or an hour there, half hour there. So let's take a look at our progress so far. Now I will say if one of you wants to go out there and replicate this, um, I, I don't have a how to build video on this one other than these live streams that I do. It's, you'll see, it's a lot of using path creators and things like that to make things go where they don't want to go because to try and give what I consider to be a reasonable facsimile to Hogsworth Academy with what we have with this game which is a lot and that's saying a lot that it's hard to do but uh, there, there are certain liberties I've had to take and uh, some artistic freedom you may say Now again, I mentioned in the last stream that the castle itself has changed throughout the movies from the very first Harry Potter movie to the last. Physical changes are made that aren't explained necessarily in the storyline. It's just for whatever reason they made these changes. And with that in mind, I'm kind of going off of some different scenes from different movies there's a really good video if you want to replicate this. What I would recommend you do, I didn't find it until recently. I wish I'd have had it from the beginning. But I gotta tell you, I never thought I'd be a real super hero. What's up, hero? Um, yeah, like I said, we've been doing a little something. So let's take a look up here where we're at. So in different elements of the movie, this can be anything from another portion of the building to an open air vestibule which is kind of what we're or courtyard rather was a vestibule in the first i want to say two movies and then from three on it goes to this open air feature which just made it a little bit easier for the build i thought it was simple enough and it looked okay so that's what we're going with um get some block stuff here on the front to make the entrance to the great hall look a little bit more accurate the great hall interior is now pretty much done for the most part, there's going to be obviously some townspeople and things put inside there. Put some ivy on the outside wall. Uh, we've got the walkway down to the boat landing. Probably going to put a pirate ship down there as well. Because they do use that in the movies. Today we're going to be working here on the second half over here more. Uh, we've got one of our towers. This one's going to have two levels to it. It also has the changing staircase. So when you get up to the staircase, it'll change you over here, and then you'll continue your journey to the next floor. We've got a lot of photographs on the wall, which of course is very much uh, indicative of Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle. And this is the only actual room, if you want to call it that, up here, because I ran out of space and I was also running low on memory. However, once you step in here, it's going to shoot you off to another toy box. One of the things I had mentioned was hoping that I'd be able to get in the Quidditch match in this level. I don't see that being happening, uh, but we are going to at least put the Quidditch field down, and then you'll travel there, and then it'll send you to Quidditch match separately is my thought. And I'm still thinking about how I want to do that. Since there are no flying broomsticks in this game as an option, there are certain flying elements that we can use that are similar in sorts or I can turn it into a rail game where the rails keep on switching out kind of like that uh, split decision game that I made and then you'd have to not only be switching rails but worried about your opponent so that that has potential it's in my mind I haven't quite fleshed it out yet but we'll see how that turns out Okay, uh, I got rid of a lot of the stuff in the back here, knowing I do not need it anymore. I'm going to get rid of a little bit more right now. Uh, we're not building this far back. So it's also going to save on a lot of memory, because I got rid of a bunch of terrain blocks. And uh, that's 
where we're at right now. So what I'm going to do, uh, because even some of this back section is going to go, and I did delete a uh, landmass that I'm going to need to replace, but I can put a smaller one. I really don't think there's that big a difference in memory when it comes to the size of these blocks, personally. There may be, but I think it's so slight you wouldn't even notice it. With that said, uh, I do have a gaping hole to fill. So we'll just drop that right there, and then we want to put that as the alien world theme. And apply that. Perfection. There's also a water bag. Okay, now then, let's move on, shall we? Uh, put some trees around the outside. Really helped make it look a lot better. Uh, what I'm debating on is whether I want to keep this back area here, but it's going to wait till I figure out how the bridge is set up in the movie. There's a bridge that crosses this river, which I've got to scope that out a little bit more and decide how I want to tackle that. I'm not sure if it actually connected from the tower. I don't think it did, though. All right, so I've got a couple of references on that. First one is going to be the schematic, which I talked about in the past stream. Let me pull up my Hogwarts. I keep seeing warts. Why is that? It is warts, Hogwarts. I don't know. I'm just tired. <laughs> it's been a rough week. Uh, as many of you know watching this channel for a lot of you all as long as this channel's been around practically I've worked for the Walt Disney World Company and we have had a really rough time as many of you may have heard in the news uh, as a result of the coronavirus and everything that kind of goes with that which is nothing good by the way and uh, I am one of those many thousands that was given the bad news that I will no longer have a job as of December 4th Merry Christmas, just saying. So, it's been a rough week, but you know what? Everything happens for a reason, and I just know enough to trust and believe that something better lie ahead, and I'm looking forward to seeing what that is. All right, as I'm looking here at this map, I wish I had it on screen so you guys could see it too. Um... There's a little more going on there. All right, so there's another courtyard that kind of attaches to our castle here. I don't know how I want to tackle this, or if I even want to tackle this, to be honest with you. But let me figure. Um, do I have... Yeah, again, I'm going to have to take some creative licenses here so instead I'm gonna get out of this map and there is an outstanding video and this is what I've been trying to say for any of you who have the desire to replicate this I would recommend you start with this video had I done so it probably look a little bit better and would have been a lot easier no two ways about it uh, bum, 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 bum. let me see You put in Hogwarts aerial view. Uh, the very first one that pops up is Hogwarts flyovers with real Harry Potter soundtrack. That is an amazing little three-minute video, which basically took every flyover scene from the movie and just kind of put them all together and they put the music in the background. But if you really want to get a good look at the build that you're working on, this is about as good as you're going to get. Alright. So here's what I'm thinking. If I do, because even looking at theirs, to keep it the way it needs to, what I can probably do though is get rid of a little bit of this. And then build out from here. 
All right, so let's get some. At this point, we're going to go almost exclusively with the castle bricks. I'm not going to be building rooms and stuff as I've done here. I just don't have the memory for it, as you can see. It's getting close to maxed out there on the right side. So I've got to try and keep it as simple as possible. So much like we did with the original build, um, I'm going to start out by laying down a framework, if you would. what this courtyard is going to do. Uh, is that lined up? Yeah, should be. That one goes two across. I don't think I have the room for that though. On this side, I don't. But I can go there. Okay. Hopefully, this will line up accordingly here. And even though this is not actually. Uh, a courtyard area that I'm building here. It may end up being a little more courtyard than anything else. Okay, we're going to have to shorten the sidewall down a little bit, which is okay. It'll square it up. And we'll actually need a door. Because we're going to use this to bridge over here. Hmm. Everything got to be difficult. Is there a smaller one? Let's try the wood blocks real quick and see how that turns. Yeah, it's going to still be a pain in the butt. However, at least with the wood blocks, we can force feed it if we have to. As I said, there's a lot going on here with the path creators. We want the Dunbrock. Uh, should be right here. We go. So we're going to set the theme. And that means we don't have to keep doing it each time because I'll be with this theme for a little bit. And it just makes it faster and more efficient. So if I merge it here, then you're going to have the blur effect on the door, which I'd rather hide it more on the wall, where it won't be so visible. So I'm just going to leave both of those in. Be like that. And due to the fact that my memory is starting to get towards the top of its peak, uh, I'm going to try and just use one. I would normally drop two path creators here, one on each side. I'm going to put one in the middle and share that in the interest of trying to save whatever little bit I can. Now, most of you will not be seeing this on the live stream itself. That's quite all right. I appreciate you guys and your comments and your feedback. Um, ch -ch 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 properties, going to turn that off. I really feel like there's been a resurgence of this game in recent months. Uh, 
All right, so we'll drop one there, and we'll drop one there, which hopefully won't matter. When you start connecting these things up, usually I would put this thing way out of the way. Let me do that, because I just feel like I might need the space. Oops, wrong button. For those that don't know, the reason I just moved them outside instead of right up here inside is wherever I connect these from, the game's going to remember them being here. Even though I'm going to move them here, it's going to remember them being here. So if I need to put something else down here, it won't let me because even though they won't be here, it will believe they are. The only way for that to stop happening is you save the game back out, reload it, and then it'll go back to wherever they're at now. But if I put them in here and then wanted to put stuff down in that same area, which who knows I might, uh, that wouldn't play well. So put them way out of the way and then drag them in is my advice. So we box path, and now we're just going to move horizontally, hopefully. can still move it a few more afterwards and I probably will because um, again you get that little blur effect going on there when you're overlapping them like that and I would rather it in the wall but if I do it now and then need to put a block on top of here I won't be able to so that would be the reason why I'm not doing it at this moment I can always go back and readjust the numbers This was minus 10, so positive 10 ought to give us the same effect, and it does. And now everything's all happy. Or at least as much as it's going to be. Uh, what I might just do is finish it up. That is such. And that'll even it all up. And just like that. Now with this particular terrain block, maybe we'll make this something a little friendlier. And go with, I think I was looking, nope, oh, oh, what was I looking at? Wisps, yes. At least I think that was, it. yeah, that's it. And we'll add some more of the same around it. one there we have that and then what we'll end up doing is put more of those briar bushes back down in this area now that we know that 
it's going to remain more of a woodland area. I'll go one more block, though. I've given us some grass. And it's really starting to come along now. We're, we're getting the colors to pop a little bit. And the trees make a big difference. Uh, da, da, da. And this is like one of my favorite when you have to fill in a space or an area. Uh, I, I really enjoy using this one quite a bit because it fills out a lot of space. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change it and theme it. Why? Because this is much smaller and I can actually get this to go now in this tight area where it wouldn't go a second ago, but now it will. And make sure I give myself some clearing. Uh, the thing about this is these trees just really bloom out in a way that uh, makes it tough for you know, a character when you really want to get mixed up in there. So it's almost like a barrier. Fortunately, all of the trees that I'm using thus far are going to be of Briar Ridge. So I can just theme all and not have to do one at a time. It won't affect anything I've already done. And there you have it. Boom. Just like that. When you come out here, you'll see all these trees and think, oh, not going that way. Because guess what? You're really not going to see anything anyway. Uh, I don't feel like I need one down here, though. Can I squeeze it in here? Yeah, look at that. Uh... Hopefully it didn't crash my staircase. Anymore. Nope, looks good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, let's back out here and just walk through it a little bit, see what it looks like, how it feels. Works for me. And this would take us into the castle here. And again, we have the changing staircase there, which has got the logic finally working right. I put some decorations in here. Um, there's actually one more I want to do up in that room above. I want to put a trunk up there and have it kind of like jumping around like something's trying to break out of it. Which was, I think, something that happened in... I think it was Goblet of Fire. I don't know if I want to put a wall up here or not. Nah, you know what? I'm trying to save. Maybe after I'm done with the build, I can revisit that as a possibility. But for this moment. All right, now comes uh, some form of a bridge. So let's see what that might look like. Okay, I don't know if it would let me put any of this down here, no. Not unless I wanted to go out here. Um, not sure how I'm feeling about that. Because then I've also got to go back to the wood. 
get our short panels. And if I don't do this, then you're going to see. daylight that would have been showing through the cracks there but uh yeah i guess that kind of worked out and both of those in there so okay it gives us a rail of some sort on each side So again, you can see how I'm able to nudge this a little closer than I could if it were not, or if it were, a Dunbach, Dunbrock tree. And the problem is that it's going to completely encroach upon what I want it to be. So I'm going to get rid of this. And we're going to try somebody else. Let's see. Let's find out what this thing turns into. Uh, yeah, it's all right. Nothing exciting, but it at least puts something down there. And the back over here we can go with... Probably, anyway, let's see. Yeah, looks like that'll work out. Bing. There's that. And then maybe just some little stuff to fill in. Now, what's cool about this one is it's already small. However, we can make it much smaller. And this might even... Yep. Get that all merged together there to kind of create this visual that, yeah, nothing really to see over here. And again, it isn't, so. Okay, coming along. All right, for this side, and there really should be a little bit more going on back here. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we can actually put some decor in, though. Let's grab... Let's grab some benches. And let's see, 
There's some other benches here that kind of fit the theme and the style. And you know what? We can throw a fountain in here too. This would be good for the top. I knew I have to do put something else up here. I wasn't happy with it being the way it is, but we can throw a couple of these up here. This is the bench I was thinking of. Okay. I don't think we're going to get too much fancier than that, to be honest with you. That's probably going to be about it. We'll take a quick gander, though, just to make sure. And this is, I think, the trunk I want to use. Let me see if I can... Nope, can't use logic on that one either. Dadgummit. That is unfortunate. No, I haven't used these in forever. These are fun. If you're not familiar, these will spawn enemies. We can throw them in the forest, which will be over here somewhere. And by enemies, it's only the bears. Alright, I think that's going to be good. Okay, I'm now jumping back into the video for some aerial reference. The early part of the video has got a lot of dark screen stuff going on. So it's a little more shadowy and not as clear to see. Alright, this is the part I want to get into. And we're going to build that covered bridge as best we can.
Okay, here we go. There's a reason I stuck this thing over here. It's because I knew this part was coming. Is that the largest topper we got? That will not go on top of that. Nope. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. It is what it is. Again, we're going to be taking some liberties at this point. Space, yes. Just a couple of windows there. Excuse me. And drop that there. And let's see how this is going to work. I'm hoping. Okay. Maybe we just pull the whole thing out a little further. Really hoping we could get away with that somehow. Uh, maybe we can do it from the inside. How about this? That would do the same thing. Yep, make sure that we just don't want people like walking through the, the side of the castle as if there were no connection. 
so that serves the purpose. Yes, there's a door there. If you can open it, you can go in. You won't be able to open it, though. Okay, that is that part. Now we need to take this, and it's going to go just a little forward to that wall. And if you're using the video that I talked about, um, I'm right now stopped at 33 seconds. So that's kind of my reference material, what I'm looking at as I do this. In case you want to follow along. Uh, was there not another option other than this one? I thought there was, but maybe not. And if not, then I guess this will have to suffice. The whole time I'm doing this, I'm also kind of keeping a wary eye on the memory that which still exists. This was just put here to remind me that we're going to use this for the covered bridge. I'm not sure how the covering part's going to work out so much. Uh, I've got ideas. And at the end, this may not even be the bridge, but it's there as a reminder, if nothing else, kind of a placeholder. We've used a lot of those building this one. Now, this is all going to end up on a replayer. But uh, this is going to give you the, uh, I'll show you here in a moment. Ow. I don't know if I can squeeze through here or not. Yeah, we can. I'm not sure if I'll be able to squeeze back up, though. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, we can do. All right, good. So, boom. There'll be like a little mission... I've already got some ideas in mind as to what it'll do. And there was, I think it was part two, might have been part three, I can't remember now, where they were running behind the waterfall. And I thought that was a super cool effect, so I had to make sure that got in. It'll dead end there, but that's where you'll flip either, there'll be something there to collect, or it'll send you to another toy box at another level. I'm not sure yet. But this whole thing will be hidden. You won't even see. You'll see the fountain, and that's it. And then uh, we'll have a replayer, as I said. And once you say the magic spell or whatever it is, whoosh, there'll be a little moment. is this will be facing but we'll see I'm not sure how you're going to get there yet we'll figure that part out so 
So my understanding, I believe this is the actual school right here where the classes take place. Uh, there will be an entrance here, so we're going to have to work on that here in a moment. Let's... Uh, Start to come up with some ideas for that, shall we? Man, how come none of these things measure up? Well, this one will, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, entrance is there. Now on this side here it's much more much more cooperative. So adding this contoured corner Actually, I tell you what, well, yeah, we're going to do it because otherwise you'll see light through there. And that just gives it a nice old look to it. Okay, and then we're going to grab these again. Place them. Extend this out a little bit because it's going to do that in the actual map. So we're going to do it here as well. this front piece out a little further forward here in a moment and we're only going to use this block here we're not going to do the second one so that'll go away in a moment if 
Don't need to fill in the back section because you will not see it. Or actually, what we could do is drop it back because it is somewhat hollowed out. only downside is this is not quite centered. So let's see if we can get away with it without affecting anything, and I think we can. that okay um oh, we're still not centered what happened there Now, it is my belief this is just going to be a pass-through area. I'm not going to have any rooms going on here. Obviously, there's not enough space and memory for that. However, what I may end up doing as I do this build-out is once this part is done, is just duplicating it. And by that, just copying it. Obviously, I'm not going to rebuild the whole thing. But doing a copy file and then delete the other section of the map to free up a lot of space and then maybe build separate part of Hogwarts here where there are rooms but for the initial build that I'm working on now there won't be you know way back in the beginning when I started on this thing I said this is going to be an ambitious build and my goodness talk about an understatement all right, now I've got to decide from a roof standpoint what we want to do here. Now maybe we'll finish up by putting the rest of this wall up here. Again, this is going to be a courtyard out here. Or not a courtyard so much as an outdoor area. Um, which means I'm going to need this to finish up. We're going to keep it very narrow. A little more narrow than it actually is. Do I want to go this way or more than likely out this way?
How is it not lining up? Let me see. This goes one and out. This goes one. And this just isn't long enough. Okay, well. Unfortunately, they're not giving me any half size blocks to work with. So we will call on our wood blocks, which fortunately match pretty darn close. If you didn't know better, you wouldn't even see the difference. Pattern's a little different, but the color's identical. Okay. Uh, and again, this will be the classroom area. We have used these for a number of things in the past. As I continue this and keeping an eye at all times on the memory stick, I'm reminded of some of the amazing stuff that people like that brown bat built and I feel like this is not as large as those files so I probably have more room to work with right now than I think I do but I do think I'm getting pretty tight Oops, did I overdo it? I did. I'm going to put this here. Do one more row of those in the middle of the second. the roof. Thank you. 
And may end up going one more row, it looks like. Yep. Alright, let's do this. Triangle shots. Oops, did I miss it? Again, just to cap this off. Close up the sides in a little bit. Just want to get an idea how this looks right here. And probably be changing the tile here. Uh, be going with smaller blocks of terrain so that we can have an outside and an inside differential. Well, let's just get a look, shall we? to see. I don't know. I feel like the wood blocks will be our best chance of doing something with this. There's like a clock piece up in here. Let's, uh, color scheme we can come up with. I am still on the 33 second mark of that video for reference material. No, that will not work. Let's see how this looks. Ugh. Not feeling it. That's not bad. That's actually pretty darn close. That's not a bad texture, but color wise, not what I'm really looking for.
Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. And I think that, yeah, for whatever reason, I did make a bottom half. So we actually have to... manually flip it around so there's a top piece and then what we'll do with this one is grab a path creator man we're using a lot of these I don't think I've ever used this many path creators in a build for the purpose of the build ever We're going to pull this out of the way for the moment. So we have access to this. Go to our properties and orient and see what that does for us. Okay. That puts him on his side. So in that case, let's go ahead and get rid of the path creator. See if that makes a difference. No. Um, yeah, I'll put it on its side. I don't want it on its so I don't want it upside down. Let's just try rotating it and see what happens. Nope. I know there's a way. I've seen it done. this through. Vertical, horizontal, start percentage. There's one other option I can think of that may do something. That is to go up with it. That might work. Mm. 
Hmm. Let's go put that on its side. Um, let's go properties here. Turn that off. Huh. I just came up with another idea. Actually, I get rid of that one altogether because its logic is all. Range now. Make a very tight circle here. I'm going to set it to off. think is that when it gets down here if we stop it it should be flush to the wall all right let's see new logic connection when the points reached by the object turn it off and what we're going to do in the meantime is just throw us a button down here real quick. And I'm sure you're all smart enough to figure out that's going to be to turn it on. New logic connection when pressed. All right. The only thing I can't figure is. Nope. Oh, never mind. I figured. I'm almost positive anyway that I would have to orient it. Properties. Toy box path. Yep. Good call. Boom. What happened? Uh, what happened? No. How much am I going to lose? Uh, most of this should be saved. Thanks to the autosave feature that Disney Infinity offers for moments like this where the game freezes up. I cannot get out of that. All right. Thank you for the likes, by the way. I appreciate you guys. 
No way around it. As many times I've been down this road, you would think I would actually do the manual save a little more often. <laughs> Um, the castle should definitely be intact. The only thing that might not be done at this point in time, or not saved. So here is the new important part. <laughs> and you only get one whack at this. If you screw it up, it's gone. When you go to load into your toy box, you have to go... You'll see. Toy box. Saves. And it should be our very top option, which is the auto save. If I go to Sorcerer's Stone and go, oh no, that's not what I wanted. Too bad. Too bad, too late, it's over. And from that position of the thumbnail, I think everything's going to be intact. So, all right. So we want to go to the auto save. We're going to then save it separately afterwards as Sorcerer's Stone. That is one of the super cool features of the game, is that it does automatic backups. I'm not sure how often. It feels like... Eh, I think the most I've ever lost maybe between 5 and 10 minutes worth of work. Which, considering how long... <laughs> it's already been an hour and 20 minutes on this stream. Imagine all that was gone. Ah, I would lose my mind. Might use that cauldron in there. We still got some suit of armors we can use. We got some tables and books. The books I can definitely throw in there. And the Sky Dome will be changing several times actually throughout. I'm thinking about doing a day night cycle. I'm not sure yet. I did one of those when I did my Dying Light build. I'm Hero, but I gotta tell you, I never thought I'd be a real super hero. There we go. Yep, castle's intact. Even the path is down, so we're in good shape there. The button's even there. That's a bonus. And, man, this really just looks fleshed out all of a sudden, doesn't it? Wow. Loving it. All right, let's try this again, shall we? And that did nothing. It may not have connected the button. Let's see. No, it's in the... Now let's get rid of that for a moment. Build a quick platform here. Think of it as a scaffold. So I can do some work and see what I'm doing. So I'm going to bring this button up here with us. I'm going to put another one way over here. And 
This one is pressed. And we'll turn it off. And this one is pressed. Oh, okay, we'll go back here. Reset and play. All right, so first. Connection when pressed. On. Okay, that might help. Oh, what's that little flip there? See, that's what's killing me. It shouldn't be flipping. It should be coming down. Maybe a larger circle. Spending a lot more time on this than I want to. Uh, we're going to try one last thing and see if it makes a difference or not. And we're going to go with a larger loop. And see if that gives it the time it needs to invert, which means we'll want to put this up a little higher. We'll go down two. Out two, one, two, and one, two. And we'll come here. Properties looped, which gives us a nice clean circle to work with. New path connection. Something weird there at the end. Let me try this. Nope, that's what I thought was going to happen there. Hmm. As I said, spending way too much time right now. So we're going to come up with a B plan. I know there is a way to do that. You can invert anything. Anything that can have a path creator attached to it. Let 
Um, two options come to mind. One would be to go this route, which will still give us a similar effect. Uh, oh, here's the other half. No. Well, it's the other half of this anyway. I thought it was... Are you kidding me? Jeez Louise. There it was the whole time. Why would you not have them together? Did it freeze again? How stupid is it that they don't have them together? They're not even close. Okay, well, hey, it was a learning exercise. That's what this is about. Because it is a clock, we can do a facsimile of putting hands on it. And what I find works best in that situation. Let me know if you've got something better. We want the climbing rails, I think. visible if I use the path creator. Yeah, I think that's what we are going to do. Still going to use a path creator, but this time it'll be much more simple. change the color on this if we want to. I'm not sure I do, but we'll take a look and see if anything looks a little more castle-y. We'll stick with that. And this is really just going to be an anchor, nothing more, which is simple. Turn off our properties there. And then just connect the two.
properties here. Horizontal, vertical. Oh, try again. I might have adjusted the wrong one. Hold on a minute. Yep, I guess what happened. Should have done one at a time. So like I said, a fact simile, a simile, easy to say, of a clock. And I'm just going to see if there's anything else I can... different coloring on this one here. Let's see. Okay. It's actually not so bad. And that's even better. All right, we will go with that. All right, and let's change up our terrain in here a little bit, as I mentioned. We need a couple of things. Number one, that block can actually stay. And I'm not going to like 
that I know that already. That, however, has potential. Yep, I can work with that. And I'd have to get some blocks that are a little bit more custom sized to fit. I don't mind it going right outside the door like that, that's okay. And that one will end up going... to the other theme. Perfect. Can't see it from the inside. Only the outside. That's what we're looking for on that. That's good, that's good. Um. go this route. Kidding me. Alright, let's figure this out. It's gotta be measurable.
That works. And we will just go ahead and grab some of this stuff here. That will soften these edges up. Bam. Okay, walk through here. Everything in here is the tile look or the castle look, except for this gaping hole over here that we forgot about. So let's oh, hold on a second. Whoa. Okay. Well, I was just about to say is it looked like there were some pieces down here we could delete. Maybe not. Well, no, I'm not seeing them, so never mind. Okay. Um. So far as out this way.
not exactly the way I would normally do this. Uh, I don't like mixing and matching the sizes that much. But because there are two distinct floor types here. go further down around here in a little bit. I'm not too sure yet, but for the moment. Full box, so. Just eats more memory if we keep doing that. All right, there we have that. Um, and we can easily go ahead with the same thing we did on the other side. Let's see if there's a different one. Yeah, I don't like that one a little bit. Go ahead and theme that. Again, this takes away the edges, so it's. Oops. Is that the door? No, not yet. So that it is a little bit more subtle and it does blend a little bit better, which actually makes a big difference right there. And then we still keep. I am tempted. Put some walls in there. But uh, I'm going to hold off on that. All right. Coming along. Like I said, we have the courtyard over here. And now we know that this will end up facing this way. And again, there'll be a replayer for this entire thing. Along with a piece of uh, the ground inserted. It'll be a cover, actually. But While I'm here. Will this fit? It will. Perfect. Wasn't sure about the ladder thing here, if that was going to interfere with it or not. And then, like I said, you'll get here and it'll be a little magic spell, and poof, abracadabra. This will go away, it'll reveal the underground tunnel, and that part of the journey.
Well, there you have it, guys. We're not done, but we're starting to look like we're getting there. Start putting in, there's the covered bridge that we gotta add yet. And we'll put like Haggard's Cottage and the Quidditch Court or Stadium. And then we'll be good. That'll be basically the home base for the game. And then from here, there'll be outside levels that will tie to it, many of which are already built. Diagon Alley is going to be one that comes from uh, Alley Valley. We're just going to convert it. It's always good to step back from the picture you're working on and see what works, what maybe you see as another option or opportunity, which there is one right now. We're going to actually go and do it. Sorry. And back here we are going to have the forest. do a little more decor in this area here with the river and the way it bends perhaps.
I think that's going to wrap it up for right now. A lot accomplished in this one. Definitely starting to feel the Hogwarts. And let's go ahead and hit the save button on that. All right, guys and girls, that's going to wrap it up for right now. We'll be back with more. I remind you, as always, that Disney Infinity is the only game where the only limitation is your imagination. We'll be back again with some more of this Disney Infinity game, and we will once again be under construction. Until then, see you real soon. Oh, no, no.